In this problem, to follow the order of operations, the first thing we would do is our grouping symbols, which are parentheses in the denominator. So we have 8 minus 3. We can change that to addition of the opposite to 8 plus a negative 3. When we do that in the denominator, we will be left with the opposite signs. So we take the difference between 8 and negative 3 to get 5. And because the 8 has a larger absolute value, it will be a positive 5. Now, continuing with the order of operations, we want to do multiplication and division from left to right next because we have no more grouping symbols and no more exponents. So if we look in the numerator, we have 3 times negative 2. A positive times a negative is negative. 3 times 2 is 6. Minus, here we have 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. And we have one more multiplication. In the denominator, we have negative 2 times 5. So if we leave the numerator, negative 6 minus 4, but start working in the denominator, continuing our multiplication, negative times a positive is negative, 2 times 5 is 10. Now moving on, if we continue with the numerator, negative 6 minus 4 could be made plus a negative 4. Negative 6 plus negative 4, they're both negative, so we add them together to get negative 10. And in our denominator, we also have negative 10. The negatives cancel, the tens also divide out or cancel, leaving 1, so that our final answer is 1.